This could be a really big nose pick. But it's not. I found this at the car boot sale I went to uh, a little while ago. And it's pretty cool. Look at that. Pretty old, actually. Um, but I kind of want to get into a little bit of restoration, restoring type of things. And I thought, you know what? This would make a really funky Spoken. restoration project. I've never really done any restoration projects with these before, so I've not really any idea what I'm doing. But that's what it's all about. Doing stuff that you haven't done before to see if you can do it. So what we're going to do, be doing today is we're going to be having a little bit of a chat and a little bit of a pick with this pickaxe and see if we can restore this up and make it a little bit funky on the way through. Well, let's give it a bash. really does give you our make. Okay, this is what we've got so far. Now, I know it's not brilliant, nothing special, but I'm practicing here. I just kind of wanted to do a bit of restoration, haven't really done much of it, um, and also I wanted to do a little bit of an engraving as well. Haven't done any of that, as you can tell. Um, I made it quite simple, I've just put a few grooves and lines in it, um, and then just basically put a bit of um, enamel black on it, just to kind of just to kind of bring out the black bits. Just to kind of bring out the lines. 
And I'll sort of like grease it up a little bit and you know, it's not really shiny shiny, but it's kind of like messy sort of shiny. But it looks alright. Remember what it was like before? But with this engraving, I've been inspired by this guy. Check this guy out. Absolutely amazing stuff. He does some really cool engraving. He's coming to Makers Central and he's going to be doing a demo for us. And this guy really can carve out a metal engrave and things like that and it looks absolutely awesome. Check out his channel. I'll leave a link below for it. I was inspired that much that I got all the gear and this is what I've come up with so far. <laughs> right, we just need a handle, then we're done. So there it is. It's actually a Minecraft pickaxe. You only get one of these when you complete the game. So there's my attempt, folks, of a little restoration project of this pickaxe. Got this at the car boot sale, as I said, um, and kind of thought to myself, you know what? I fancy doing a little bit of restoration, and I think this will be a really cool project to do. Um, I know you've probably seen loads of pickaxe restorations and things like that, but not from me. As you can see, I've kind of done a little bit of engraving here as well, um, and that was kind of inspired by this guy that I've been watching on YouTube, so please check him out, there will be a link below uh, to, to have a look. And again, he'll be doing a demo at Maker Central um, of his carving techniques, and it's really awesome, you've got to watch it. Um, so if you can come to the show, if you can't come to the show, check out his channel. Uh, but check out his channel anyway. Um, so I was inspired by him, it was just going to be a normal kind of restoration, then when I saw that, I thought, you know what, I'll add a little bit of kind of engraving or, you know, or for me, gouging uh, into this project just to funk it up a little bit. I just didn't want it to be just normal. I wanted it to be a little bit different. And I suppose it is. It's a little bit wiggly woggly. I used some uh, paint uh, in there, enamel paint, to kind of like bring out the lines a little bit. I haven't shined it up completely because you don't really need to, to be fair. I mean, it's not going in my kitchen. It's definitely one I can tick off the bucket list anyway. I feel like a Viking. I really enjoyed doing this and I'll do some more restoration projects in the future, but probably not many. It was hard work and it makes your hands go all tingly when you're using that grinder. <laughs> Kind of all numb and tingly, it was weird. Well, I hope you enjoyed it and, and thought it was funny. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't done already. Thanks to everyone that's come over to this channel. Absolutely amazed by the amount of support that I've got. And thanks very much for all of you sticking around. I know some of you have gone, but I hope that you'll come back one day. But stick around, I've got all sorts of funky projects coming up. All sorts of different things. Mixed bag. Mixed bag is what you'll get from me. The other day you had pirate in a bottle, today you got a pickaxe. And not just any pickaxe, it's definitely a funky one. Derek. It's pretty secure in there, it's not going anywhere. I've bashed it in there like anything, it's not going anywhere. Trust me, you could do pull ups on this thing. I reckon this will last forever. And wherever it ends up, someone's gonna pick it up one day and go, What's those lines on there? They look kind of funky. What I'll probably do is I probably will add my emblem to the bottom here somewhere. Haven't done it yet. Might put it at the top. No, actually, I won't. I'll put it at the bottom. Um, but I will add that in. I keep on forgetting to add my emblems in these days. I don't know why. One of these, I think. <laughs> One of these. Although, these actually say NZ Woodturning, not Nick Zemeli. And ideally, I need to get some new ones that say Nick Zemeli. Probably won't put that on the bottom. Well, thanks for watching this, guys. Please hit the subscribe button if you haven't done already. You can share the video if you're feeling generous. And I hope you all have a great weekend, and I'll see you all 
really soon. Take care.